Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I want to cover an answer to a question I've been getting a lot lately, and that is uh, dealing with JD's Garage. After I've covered those videos, I get guys that always want to know, what is your suggestion for the cheapest workaround to getting the proper controller that's done with best practice? Let's just look at what we have here. I've got a client here, this is going out today, and this plasma system is using my master edition enclosure and what makes this really unique is these connectors over here these gx16s these are three pin and none of these are wired none of these are wired and the reason he did not want to wire them is because he wants to use his own knowledge and labor to save money and he's going to install his relay to trigger his torch and he's going to install his ground to once again properly ground the shield drain on the cable that once again is included and of course all of the female connectors so then of course we undo this and then you've got your torch plug-in right here everything is set so what you should be thinking about and i tell all of my clients the same thing is look at where it makes sense to cut corners controllers are not the place to cut corners in the sense of alleviating best practice where it is okay to cut corners if you have the knowledge and are comfortable reading wiring diagrams is installing components yourself that's how you cut corners my time is valuable and if it's more valuable than what you're willing to spend then the easiest thing to do is learn what i do and you can do it yourself i've got over 700 videos on my channel i've worked with some of the biggest companies in the world you can look at it and see for yourself i'm an open book the big thing here is, is what are you willing to do? If you want to save money, then you have to learn at least somewhat of what I know in order to do this correctly. Now, you can see, when you ask me about these, these things dealing with price, all of my tools are not cheap, okay? And that means that you get the same consistent guaranteed stability. I'm using a word you don't hear in this industry. Guaranteed stability. Why is that? Because when I turn this device on and we come over here, we know that when this unit is plugged in, if we come to our ground pin right here and we come to the ground on our enclosure, you're going to read one on the fluke, right? If I come over here to the shield drain on the e-stop, you're going to read one on the fluke, right? If we come over here to the front plate, we're reading one, right? We do it everywhere. Everywhere. Here. We can come over here to our auxiliary, Let's see if I can get in there, there you go. It's all connected guys, there's no work for the end user, it's done. Now the beauty of this, and I've said this before because I still get grounding questions out the wazoo, is that guys need to understand with over 700 videos, if you have a question, here's all I ask you to do, and it's free. Use the Google search on my channel search for anything with grounding, you're gonna get all my videos. If there's a topic that you wanna know with CNC electronics, all you have to do is search, okay? That is the beauty of it. The knowledge is there. So when this client goes and says, I'm gonna install the ground bus, where does it go? He can watch the video and see how I install it in my videos. Now, of course, this is something to keep in mind as well. And I wanna, like I said, I'm open book. You realize that this is all wired. That means that when he gets this, he's essentially got to undo what I've done. If you're not comfortable, if you're okay doing it, by all means. But realize once this case is open, you've got to now undo what I've already done just to install what you're installing. Unless you decide to install things in a different way because once this box is in your hands, of course it's yours. But the thing to keep in mind is that, is that there are ways to save money if you're willing, of course, to invest the time first to learn and then to initiate the process of the labor, okay? I'm, of course, there. Once I provide you diagrams, you're set to go. So it's one of two things. Either you understand what you're wiring or you don't. And if, you don't know, if you're not confident in your ability to read wiring diagrams, then you have to really justify, do I want to do that work myself? You don't go to Home Depot, buy a whole bunch of roofing and expect a contractor to come back with you and basically be there for when you have questions and expect to not pay him. No, he would tell you very nicely, go screw yourself. 
So we have to be realistic on people's time. There's a reason that this system I guarantee success with because I know I built it. If you start installing components and are uncertain, that's where you have to look at well, I, I, you know, I've never done this before. Do I want to take this on myself? It's not always going to be for a person that isn't confident in their own abilities. So keep that in mind. Like I said, I'm being honest with you, but you have to be honest with you as well. Now, all the components that are included here, this is 22 gauge double shielded for his torch. The relay right here is all set with toolless mounts. Everything here is set exactly as I would do it myself. It's not a lot of work in the sense that if you understand what you're doing, not a big deal. It is time and it is going to alleviate the cost on the system. And that's what you want to do and do it. What you're looking at here and what you're looking at here will provide a guaranteed grounded system. Once installed and touching this enclosure, we now have a ground that will once again instigate grounding on whatever he decides to install. He has all his positions. I am gonna include ring terminals that will mount underneath these spacers on our screws. So once that mounts under there, you're all set to go. You can see our spacers underneath, and we're good, and we have an excess length of screw, because I get asked that a lot. You have to consider the fact of the thickness of the box. So once that's done, you'll probably be up here, okay? That's engineering in a nutshell. Every detail, because that's what you're paying me for. And that means me being honest with you. If this doesn't sell you on the fact that I'm being honest, also pointing out, many of you already know, my power supplies are very unique and I'll just cover this briefly. If you look in here, right here, that's all V positive and this right here is all V negative. Most power supplies on the market that you're seeing these guys use, they're not designed for CNC use, meaning you don't get 10 terminals for V positive and 10 terminals for V negative. The beauty of this means that when a client goes to hook up accessories to the G540 like this client will do, he doesn't have to install terminal splitters to prevent daisy chaining. The power supply already supports all the accessories. Another thing you can't see is that inside this enclosure of the power supply is a built-in EMI filter. So again, this is what you're paying for and you decide what stage, what level you want to be at. Do you want to just install a couple components? Do you want to, I've had clients ask me, God, what have we had? We've had some really interesting custom packages going out. I want this, in, I want a fan installed. I don't want a power supply installed. I, I want to change the wiring a little bit. Can you just supply the wiring? I've had every kind of combination you can possibly imagine. I'll work with you the best I can. So the way I look at it is, in this particular instance, I feel that this system, I know, is done right. All this client has to do, install his ground bus, install his relay, solder on his GX16 three pin to this cable, connect the other end to his torch, and the rest of it is done, okay? Of course, he will have to rewire back what I did, and you're set. But either way you look at it, you just saved a lot of money because again, this is about a little under half of what I charge for a regular plasma system. So it's totally doable. All we did was change the back plate, make it so all he's got is his pins. And of course, like I said, the bottom pin is for THC. It's got five pins. So one plug handles your THC, one plug handles your relay, and you're done. So again, I hope that this video has answered some of your questions. Is it gonna be a $35 system? No. Is it gonna be plans for you to build it at $35? Guys, I'm gonna tell you truthfully, I don't build wiring diagrams for $35, okay? I don't know what you value your time at, but I've worked really hard to get to where I am, whether you justify that or not. I don't know how many engineers you know work for 35 bucks, but I value myself. So therefore, and I validated too. I mean, if you look at my channel, I think everybody should know by now, I'm either really lucky or I'm telling you the truth. Look at this design, look at what you have here, and we have to be realistic. But this is definitely the most realistically priced system you will get. And by the way, let me just tell you one more fact that many of you may or may not know. The Gecko G540, still in the industry, comes with a three-year U.S. warranty. A lot of guys don't even think about that. You've got three full years on this drive, 
And I've yet to have Gecko say no when it's under warranty to do something. So when you quantify everything, when you think Stepper Online, all these other overseas distributors, think of three years. What do you pay for that? It's peace of mind. So either way, I hope that this video has answered some of your questions. And once again, I thank you all for your support. Take care.